Hey everyone, here at the IIR Trade Show 2024 in Orlando, Florida. It's a great show if you've never been, I totally recommend it. It is the trade show that is bringing together the natural fruit and industry uh, in the US market. And what has been traditionally a show focused on ammonia has over the last years really started to open up to CO2. And this is what we're going to talk about here. Dan O'Brien, president of Zero Zone, one of the leading US players in the market, industrial and commercial refrigeration has a new product. Uh, they've had traditional CO2 racks for a while now. Yes, we have. And now um, they're bringing a, a condensing unit. So we're gonna learn a little bit more about this product. So Dan, tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here, this, this uh, new CO2 product that you're bringing to the US market. Hi, Mark. Hello, everyone. Showing you a CO2 condensed unit. This is a medium temperature. Uh, CO2 condensed unit. We've designed four different models to range in capacity from three tons up to 12 tons, mm -hmm. basically giving us, uh, you know, from zero degree Fahrenheit to 30 degree saturated suction temperature. So we can provide it in a lot of different ranges and a lot of different applications. The unit you see here is designed for 130 bar pressure rating on the high side. It's also designed for 90 bar on the low side, which gives us a high standstill pressure to help us uh, maintain the charge within the system. In a condenser unit, your system is always turning on and turning off, so it always has that uh, opportunity to release a charge. But with a 90 bar system, that takes that problem out of, out of the situation. In addition to that, we have some new technology on here. We have a, a scroll compressor in here by Copeland, mm -hmm. which is new to the market, at least to the US market. Yep. Um, typically what you'd see on a, any type of CO2 system, you're gonna have a flash gas bypass valve, you're gonna have a high pressure expansion valve, um, everything and anything to run the CO2 system. And then we have a, a unique little control system in there to uh, control the entire condensed unit, including the gas cooler. Okay, and we're gonna talk about that in a second. But before, you know, you're bringing this to the US market, you're quite excited about this. This is a we real are. addition to your product range, right? Mm -hmm. It's very modular, as you said. So you're going to be targeting supermarkets, but not only, right? Yeah, we'll be targeting opportunities with supermarkets, cold storage space, small. To, we could put it on a process chiller if we wanted to with a plate heat exchanger. Um, so there's a lot of different applications that this fits. A lot of flexibility, right? A lot of flexibility. And this is for the across the states, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Not just for California. Not just for California. This can go anywhere and yeah, yeah. any place. Okay. Right, with all the regulations changing, this is a perfect opportunity to continue driving CO2 uh, equipment forward and natural refrigerants. Okay, tell us a little bit about what you've got here, what yeah. we're seeing here. So this is the condenser, the gas cooler side of the condenser unit, yep. um, and we're showing an adiabatic option or feature on this gas cooler. So we can build this CO2 condenser unit with or without the adiabatic feature. So you can have the air-cooled option or you can have the adiabatic option. So it fits in many different climates. Okay. and allows us that massive temperature range. Okay, excellent. Um, I wish you good luck. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. We're excited. Yeah, and then next time we meet, hopefully you'll be able to tell me you've got actually some installs. Exactly, that, that's the plan. All across the country? Everywhere. All right, good luck. Thank you.